screaming. Tie your glasses on. Screaming and inside. I would honestly, th- there was someone in the test kitchen, not me, that told a few of us that she wants to get glasses. I forgot what exactly she said, but well, it's a she, so you could guess who. Um, and she doesn't need a prescription though, so it would just be kind of just for aesthetics and I told her you can't do that or if all of us told her you can't do that also why did she even ask us or say it out loud but so I'm gonna try these on but I, I don't need glasses oh man you're so much more attention really? wow I take you so much more seriously now you look like Ben Dewey <laughs> I sense sarcasm I don't I, I Ben Dewey I don't know that's a compliment Ben Ben's a handsome guy Uh, today we are making a pomegranate glazed chicken. This is from uh, last February, I believe. Um, it's a dish that I love. Um, it's really kind of taking some flavors that I kind of grew up with and some flavors that I found uh, while traveling uh, through Lebanon. I'm going to show you uh, the first bit, which is marinating the chicken. We're working with one whole chicken. The backbone is removed, and then that's cut in half. So you have your breast, wings, and um, uh, your drumstick and thigh all attached. Uh, so we have two of those. We are going to get the marinade going by grating four cloves of garlic. Uh, we're using just plain yogurt, uh, not Greek, uh, whole milk. You want all that fat. And that's gonna help tenderize the chicken. Four cloves of garlic grated. We're gonna add a third cup of that yogurt. A quarter cup of yogurt. A quarter cup of yogurt. A third cup pomegranate molasses, yeah. Uh, if you haven't had this, this is something that I grew up with. Look at that, it's really thick and it's f-ing delicious. It has this like sweet, sour quality to it and you get it, you feel it like right over here. I'm gonna add a third cup. We're gonna add two tablespoons honey. That's uh, just kind of uh, for balance and flavor. You have like the tart flavor of the pomegranate molasses and and from the yogurt. Okay, we're gonna whisk all this together. Uh, We're gonna add two tablespoons uh, salt. It seems like a lot of salt, but you need it for this. Okay, we're gonna add the marinated to just a resealable plastic bag. Tongs, this is chicken that's been patted dry. I always kind of marinate my meat in these kind of bags that just really easy, no mess. I want to completely pop and just go all over me. (laughs) Okay, I would marinate uh, at least 12 hours. Uh, You can go even longer. Uh, That would even be better, a day, two days, um, chilled. And then uh, I would toss it halfway through just so you make sure everything is getting marinated evenly. Okay. Back to the chicken. We are gonna remove this chicken. It's been sitting out for about an hour. Uh, You could even go a little bit longer. You just wanna kind of get it to temp. Um, Actually, first, you're gonna drizzle the cast iron with a bit of uh, oil. I'm just using plain, plain oil, vegetable oil over here. Pull that bird out. If you don't have a skillet, you could cook it on a baking sheet, sure. Why not, amazing. Um, now I'm going to pat this dry, just the top part, the skin. We are going to mix uh, the remaining two tablespoons honey and two tablespoons pomegranate molasses. Uh, this is just to uh, brush the chicken with on top. Okay, you're going to brush this, um, this mixture over the chicken. Oh, whoops, I forgot, I f***ed up. I'm gonna sprinkle the very top with a bit of salt. I'm gonna get rid of this, so don't come at me. With my chicken hands. What did you think about that uh, quiz, test kitchen quiz? I heard that it's very difficult to get Andy, which I don't know. You took the quiz and you got yourself, right? Yeah, but I mean, I think that, I don't think that's that surprising, is it? What, what did they like say about you? What did you have to answer? What did I have, I mean, what did I choose? Yeah. 
like I chose a, the things that were me. It's like I chose a mortar and pestle. Some things didn't make sense, like what is my favorite kitchen tool? It's like a mortar and pestle. If that mandolin, I probably would have chosen that. The back to back, it's like, well, I'm not involved with back to back, but like obviously I chose that like corporate. And like, then the desserts was like, everything was really basic besides the cream puffs. And I was like, so I chose cream puffs. Cause I'm fancy. Mm -hmm. I know that's not how you say it, but you're supposed to do okay, okay. Cardi B, come at me. That's okay. I'm actually a little bit more tea than Nikki. Because I like the fact that she could actually rap. That's gonna that's gonna start some controversy. Cardi B. She can put out, you know, a bop. She is so much fun. She's so funny, but like, she doesn't spit like Nikki, and she doesn't write her own. I don't know, I don't know. I'm just gonna say that. Getting back into my rap bit game lightly. Still a punk rock red heart. Okay, so we got this chicken. It's gonna go in the oven at 450, the upper rack, uh, for about 25 to 30 minutes. If you have a thermopen, um, or a thermometer, test your chicken out, thigh should uh, register at 165, breast 150 ideally, uh, and that's that. We're going to slide it in. Looks great. So here's our chicken. You see how it's got kind of that mahogany color, really nice darkened spots that lacquered effect from the honey and molasses. We're gonna just let that sit for a good 20 minutes before we carve into that. Um, while that's resting, I am going to toast some pine nuts. So I have two tablespoons butter, unsalted butter. I'm gonna put it in a small skillet, let that melt over medium. A lot of our recipes we toast nuts, seeds, uh, and dry skillets. Uh, either on the stovetop or on the oven. With this, I am toasting the pine nuts in fat in the form of butter. Uh, I do this a lot. I'll cook nuts, uh, seeds in oil. Uh, I do that because not only are you toasting uh, the pine nuts, but in this, uh, in this way, you're also getting this kind of pine nutty infused butter, which is great. So we're gonna use that as kind of a, almost a, garnish, like a crunchy garnish to go over the chicken. Also, back to Nikki, like, I love her, and I, and I, I like Cardi B too, but not, I don't even know how we're even comparing these women, but I love Mariah Carey more than all, both of them. And she just dropped an album called Caution, Go Get It. Oh, if she, if she, she would never contact me. Imagine if Mariah Carey, like, like this, or just like, I, I would, I would die, I would go nuts. Viewers, make that happen for me. I would go nuts if Mariah Gary even said anything about this. I love her so much. The album is Perfection Mimi. You are amazing. Love you. Okay, we're gonna add a quarter cup pine nuts. We're gonna toast this. See, it gets really nice and foamy. And the pine nuts are releasing their oils. I don't know what you're I don't make mistakes in life. What oil fire? Are you scared? I'm scared, actually. That's too much oil. Okay, the pine nuts have been going. We're gonna pour that in a bowl. And right now you kind of have this almost, almost brown butter, brown pine nut situation. We're gonna salt this, just as you would. Um, if you toasted nuts on their own. So you got this nice brown butter and pine nuts. So pretty, right? Amazing, fantastic, incredible life. People, angels, the seventh heaven. I never watched that show. Uh, I am having one lime and we have one and a half cups of pomegranate juice. 
I have to say, looking back at this recipe, this is a lot of juice. You do not need to use as much juice. I just happen to really love it. Uh, but if you want to use less, go ahead and use less. So we have one and a half cups of pomegranate juice. I'm going to squeeze the juice from both limes. And I'm doing this only because a lot of the pomegranate juice you buy tends to be just a touch too sweet for my liking. Uh, but if it's not too sweet for you guys, then leave it as is. I'm going to season it with a bit of salt. I like it to have just a bit of salt. And it may sound weird, but it actually makes the juice pop. I'm going to give this a taste. It's great. It should be like lip smacking, a little bit of salty, bright. Good pomegranate flavor, but like the lime juice even brings it up a notch. And it's just gonna go really well with that chicken. Cause then you'll have like the chicken juices mixing with the pomegranate juice and it just, something really magical happens. I am going to transfer one chicken. We'll do that. Sexy bird. That's my stripper name. Um, <laughs> then I'll add a few splashes of juice. You can put it on the chicken, but I don't really want to take away from the crispiness. It's also just like, I don't know, Valentine's Day or something. It, that's coming up. Red, red chicken. Um, I kind of like the splatter right now. I might not in a bit, but uh, we're going to take the pine nuts and we'll just do that, a little sitch. Save some for that chicken. <sighs> Looks pretty nice, I think. Looks, it's kind of fancy. It's a little bit restauranty. It's really not that difficult, which is why I don't think it needs to be a special occasion. Um, you could make it on the weeknight, but uh, I understand like you have three different parts going on, but they're all, everything is really simple. And the chicken you can marinate ahead of time. And it's just something that'll really impress uh, your guests uh, or yourself. Um, and uh, I'm gonna get into it, I'm hungry. I'm gonna go right over here for the thigh. Get a little bit of juice, pine nut. It's pretty good. Well, what am I supposed to say? It's like, it's so good it's like yeah, I developed it I made it like it's good it's good like humility goes a long way in life I'm just saying I'm didn't say that I have humility I'm just saying humility goes far in life I'm gonna take one more bite I hope you guys make this dish uh, make photos tag me in them DM me it's I promise you it's gonna become one of those chicken dishes that you're gonna fall in love with and it's uh, gonna become part of your repertoire Wait, what is bay nectar? Bay nectar? Bay nectar. Oh, they're, like, uh, they're like one of those like dumb stuff. Like oh it sounds like a, it sounds like a speaker being dropped into a <sighs> blender. My mind went bay snacker, so it's like bay snackers. A, a bay who snacks. <laughs> I don't know. Someone from like, the bay. Yeah. Or someone <laughs> from the bay. No, but no, a bay snacker. Oh, we got chicken in the oven. So 